Hello everyone, Paul here again. Uh, in this Pearson tutorial, I'm going to be showing you where you can find activities to integrate other content areas into your map. So this is great for small group activities, maybe an extension activity. Um, it's also something you can give to students and encourage them to do at home with their parents or just maybe a whole class mini lesson. So um, many times uh, they'll require students to create charts in these activities, which is a great practice for data analysis. Um, however, do note that it is very beneficial to have access to the internet um, because many of these activities do require a minimal amount of research. So with that, let's go ahead and get to it. Um, we're gonna go into Pearson. So here I'm on my single sign-on. I'm going to click into Pearson. And then from there, I will go to Realize, uh, you know, this routine. And then to Programs, I'm going to go ahead and pick fourth grade. Now, when you're in here, we're going to go to eText up at the top here. Go ahead and click Teacher Edition. Okay, now that we have it loaded up and ready to go, um, over on the left-hand side in the table of contents, I'm gonna drag this out a bit, and I'm going to pick topic seven. Now for each topic, you have uh, subsets here, planning, lessons, review, and assessment. I'm gonna go to planning. Inside planning, you have all these topics. I have other links to videos that talk about some of these. Right now, we're gonna look at California Math Project, Science. So each topic under planning has a California Math Project. Sometimes it's science, sometimes it's social studies. It depends on which topic and which lessons. So I'm gonna click on my California Math Project, Science. So for topic seven, here is your activity that's gonna integrate science into math. They start with a factoid. And then after factoid, they give you a set of directions. And then those directions, they then give you an example of what the work could look like. So some of these, in my opinion, are just fine the way they are. They're ready to go. Uh, this one in, seems like it's fine. It gives you a factoid uh, about water, rivers, lakes, um, bodies of water. And then the directions are that Students are going to research how much water is used for various household activities, such as taking a shower, taking a bath, using an automatic dishwasher, etc. And then below here, um, they have to create data and then present it. And so they give you an example. So again, this is a great way to um, integrate science into your math, create charts, and share out the activity with other students. Now, I'm going to go into uh, another topic here for fourth grade. Um, just to show you each remember each topic has uh, one California math project so if I go into topic 11 um, I pick this one because some of these in my opinion aren't ready to go as is and they need some modifying to be a bit more um, accessible to the students and also maybe something uh, that is less time-consuming so I'm gonna go in topic 11 I'm gonna go into planning Again, under planning, I'm going to go to California Math Project. This one is Social Studies. Click on there. Here's my factoid. Here's my directions. So in short, this activity is asking uh, students to either sketch out or print out 50 flags because um, the idea is that they're going to write fractions based on the flags. So this one is write a fraction describing the number of state flags that contain stars. So I like the activity. Um, it, it's a great way to integrate fractions and also um, expose students to state flags and uh, using fractions with them. However, the idea of sketching out 50 flags or printing out 50 flags is either time consuming or ineffective with cost as far as ink and printing. So with that, maybe they just do the activity looking at the computer screen, bringing up 50 flags and going from there. So again, this one could be modified very easily and still be able to integrate other content areas. So that's it. Go ahead and 
take a look at some uh, on your own, maybe a topic you're working on now or a topic you're going to be working on, and maybe it's something you'll be interested in doing with your students. Thank you, and see you soon.